this is the Camellia japonica. That's a traditional southern plant. Uh, you see a lot in a lot of the older towns around some of the older houses. And it's per fairly drought tolerant once they're established. Uh, it's a fairly slow growing plant, which uh, usually a lot of these slow growing plants are a little more drought tolerant just because they don't have to have as much water to, to keep up with that new growth. And all. But they still, when it's this dry, do have to have some have to have some water, uh -huh. whereas uh, the plant here, it will not take it dry at all. That's a uh, golden mop cypress, and even though it's called cypress, it's not a true cypress, but it takes a lot of water. But the camellias are, are fairly, once they're established, they're fairly drought tolerant. In fact, they they don't like to have their feet wet, they call it, where it's just where you, if you've got standing water around them a lot, uh, they call it wet feet. They like a well-drained soil. Uh, but they do like to have, to have some moisture, uh, at least every so often. What about that little one that's purple down there? That's a cute little plant. What is that? That is a foxglove. That is a biennial. It'll grow for two years, it'll bloom the second year, then it dies and it's gone. Forever? Yep. Why'd you plant that one? Just because they're interesting. <laughs> really? No. What's interesting? Uh, oh, because uh, of the way they live and grow? They call it fox glove because the little print inside is supposed to be fox prints. You say fox? Yep. Oh, okay. And I'm asked, I, it's just a, the name sort of catchy, and although they don't look like fox prints to me, I see something I remember. I see. And this is a big uh, bushy one right here. Yeah, this is actually uh, a canna lily. Canna lily. Uh, Dr. Susan Hidden gave me the bulbs from these years ago, and I've transplanted them from different places and put them here. And, uh, okay. And, uh, it takes a lot of water to, to requires a good bit of water. Now this variety's got the prettier foliage. Doesn't bloom as pretty as some of the more plainer foliage ones. And I'll, uh, it does bloom some, but not as much as some of the just straight green varieties. Uh huh. And, This is a calla lily, real similar in name to the canna lily. When I was in school, I used to confuse those. And uh, but, uh, the calla lily, they just already finished blooming. It, and both of these are bulbs. It has a real pretty white bloom when it blooms, but they're, they, they'll use those in some floral arrangements. Now, they're a really highly prized bloom, but they're hard to get them to bloom. They're, they're, that one had two blooms on it this year, and this is their second year. Now the other one's blooming on me this year. So that's one I'm sort of toying with, but I had it more for an educational purpose between the canna lily and the calla lily because the names are so similar, yet they're totally different plants. 